What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jenga and Jams. I'm here with my brother, Mr. Frogos himself, Mr. Brandon. How you doing, sir? Doing pretty good, how about you? Pretty good. All right, man. We made it through another year. A uh, very long one, but um, we made it. Um, a lot of great albums dropped this year. Like, it's probably one of the best years of music, like, in my life. I feel like, like, you know, you know, I feel like we say that every year, but, like, this, this year, year it's just different. <laughs> it is because it's so, it was so much as well, but yeah. also... It was so much and it was great quality. You yeah, know? exactly. It was just, everybody was just on a on a stuff this this year. Yeah. So um, anyway, um, I don't know. I got. I kind of feel like we're gonna have a similar list. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, some of them are will be repeated from the uh, video yeah. beginning of this year. Uh, top half of what we did. Top five of so far. Halfway in. So far. So anyway. Um, Brandon is up first, so, um, he's gonna do three, your three notes about the notes. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, note number one. <laughs> Am I going first? Forget, no, it's time to forget about the game again, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, first notable, I guess, I have to give it to, um, okay. Uh-oh. I'm forgetting. <laughs> Victory Lab. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. And that's the other one. That was a uh, that was a really dope album. It's like I liked it. Yeah, I mean it was almost like a a more hood four forty four kind of like yeah. game kind of thing. So I, feel I did I did like it. I mean I mean I don't even know why I even listened to it. Cause I'm like I never really listened to Nipsey. Yeah, Most exactly. I was like I guess everybody was saying it was good. Yeah, I just, I just came across it. Oh, this is dope. Yeah, it was yeah. really fire. And, I mean, he was I don't know. My only thing about it was that it was just. Such a long album. Yeah, you know? especially uh, the last, I think the last song. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so long, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> um, second notable go to Book of Ryan. Um, what's five nine? Fire. Yes, yeah, super fire. Fire, fire, fire. fire. <laughs> Storytelling. I mean, it's just the whole story, like between him and his dad, and then like him relating that back to his son. Yeah. Like, and, it was fire. Um, and then. Last notable goes to swimming. Matt Miller. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. A legend. Ooh. A legend. A whole legend. Say that real quick. <laughs> like undescribable. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can't say too much. <laughs> I don't want to say too much. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was a good album. Yeah, that's great. All right. Okay. My three notables. Uh, oh man, this was tough. High mind. The internet. Uh, I love the internet. Yes. Um, this, this almost made my top five. I'm, like I listen to it again. I'm like, man, this is beautiful. I got like jazz music and R and B. Like that's key to my heart. That's the soul. So it's just like, ah, it was beautiful. It's, all the funk vibes. Yeah, all the funk. And it was good. But um, number uh, two um, notable was swimming. Mm-hmm. Mac Miller, which also almost made my top five. <laughs> like I'm still in a my whole list. Yeah. Like, but. Like I said, can't say too much, man. That album was beautiful. Just and even it's even better. Like you know, I hate to say it, but it's better yeah, at his death. Yeah. You just hear ah. Uh. Because I mean, you really pay attention. To yeah. That's <laughs> right. yeah. You really pay attention to what he's saying. Yeah. I mean, like that whole album was just a cry for help. <laughs> it was a cry for help, and you know, he ended up being uplifted in yeah. the end. You know, but, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Anyway. Uh, I think this one might shock you, maybe a lot of people. Uh, my notable, it ain't t- it ain't no top five, but it's in my notables. Everything is love, the Carlos. Really? Yes, bro. Like, I know a lot of people was kind of like, uh, <laughs> bro, but I don't know. I, the way I listen to music recently, we're not playing just, the game. I'm, 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 I'm with, oh, bro. God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, oh, God. like the way I listen to music, I don't know. It's kind of you put it on the <laughs> Hey, we. We ain't played it in the like <laughs> since January. It's like so I'm a little there. rusty. <laughs> but um man, I'm taking my point. I listen to music the way I listen to music is kinda of just I don't know different. I kinda of just focus in what the artist is like good at and just like Jay Z is just good, man. Like this man can just rap. Yeah. It's like he never I'm just I'm just amazed when I listen to Jay Z just his work, but I'm like, he's just he can't do no wrong, right? right? And that's how I, I mean, even as late in his career, as long as longevity, like 
Yeah. That's why I just oh, love that album. That's one of my favorite artists. And then Beyonce's sounds beautiful. Vocals, it's just ridiculous. Ah, I just, I love that album. But like I said, I know people. Like, eh, whatever. But it was fine. Yeah. It was definitely dope. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into the top five, man. All right, man. Um, so my five spot, I got a Room 25 by No Name. No Name. Beautiful, beautiful album. Beautiful. Uh, what's his name? Felix, the producer. Yeah. He was fire, bro. It's ridiculous, yeah. man. The sounds that he brings, <clears throat> his own vocals on the track and everything. Um, of course, no name, just bars for days. One of the top rappers in the game, yes. man. One of the rappers. Rappers, <laughs> period. Rappers, but... period, bro. And like, she's like just beyond rap. Almost. Yeah. It's just like poetic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's, that was a good album. I definitely, yeah. That's definitely one of my favorites of the year. Um, favorite song on that album, it's a tie between Ace. Of course, <laughs> Smito and Sago are ridiculous. Um, and what is it? Don't forget about me. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's like the last song or something. Mm, or no, it's like not. a couple songs. Yeah, yeah. no, that's one of my favorite songs too. That's a beautiful song. All right, my number five, <laughs> Booker Ryan Royce, all right. one of your notables. Mm -hmm. um, first of all. Royce is the 5'9". I probably said this in the last video. I think he was on my nose or something like that. I can't remember. But, slow slept on. Just A1 lyricism. Just, um, his storytelling, wordplay. Yeah, the song about, I mean, the whole album is like about him and, you know, you said it earlier. Yeah. Just, just his drug struggles, his dad's, and telling to his son. And the whole, I got a thing, the themes. So it's like, yeah. you have a theme on your album, that's, it's one of my favorites, so. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing, like, to touch the theme here and there, but he's literally like just telling the story right. from Front, start to finish. Yeah. It's incredible. Crazy. But uh, my favorite song on there, this is a tie, depending on my mood, is Legendary and Godspeed. Okay. I love those two songs. Anyway. Right. Uh, number four, I got KOD. We got number four, that was number one, Jerry! It's been some five music. Yeah. It's been five music. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> this was Cole's year, for real. I mean, this man, year. the guest features that he's had this year. Cole won 2018. <laughs> he won, bro. <laughs> he really did. But, um, yeah, I mean, KOD, you know, another kind of storytelling ish kind of thing. Right. You know, dealing with, dealing with pain, and, or how to process pain and all that kind of thing, and find a positive place. Really great album. Uh, favorite song? That's what I did, boy. I'm oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't even realize he said it. Um, I was caught up. Anyway, um, favorite song on there is probably, uh, um, hey, what's that song called? Uh, 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 I already know. Without Wait. Oh, I wanna do it. Yeah, this is terrible. Bro, I, I think I got a um, window fan. Okay, I'll give you yeah. my <laughs> <God>, window fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, my number four. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> like, my list, man, like, like I said, I'm still not sure. Like, I'm sure about number five. This is just different. I never want to bro. Oh god, my god, god. Brandon, bro. <laughs> I could have sworn you, man. What was yours in that one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I was, okay, I'm sure about my number five. Number two through four is like, yeah, I don't know. It's toss Yeah, up. and so and number one is definitely my number one. But, Saba, care for me. Okay. Uh, definitely, if y'all don't know Saba, look up Saba. Saba yes. is fire, rapper from Chicago. One of the most creative dudes in the game, young. Um, but this whole album is like about his cousin. I found him. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, about his uh, cousin who got, uh, stabbed and killed, and when she was like the founder of the label, and they were super close, they were together. And the whole album is a grieving album, and so that album is just, just beautiful. Like, I listened to it, like, I told y'all recently, I listened to it, like, with empathy, like, just yeah. putting myself in his shoes, and I was sad. <laughs> like, he was going through, he was a rough, rough life of family issues, drugs, and stuff. And I was like, All right. dude was going through it, so that's he, his storytelling is just perfect, but. Uh, my favorite song on there, which is the same from I think January, is Log, ooh, Log Out with uh, Chance, because that beat is fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's my turn, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, um, well, we're at number three. 
Uh-oh. And for me, it was Astro World. Okay. Travis Scott. Um. <laughs> I know you'll talk too. <laughs> yeah, <go ahead>. <laughs> <laughs>
He's excited. Oh, I'm excited. Like, we gotta get this out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No edits. We're gonna leave that in. All right. Number two. After World. Travis. Okay. Uh, my bad. I was just that. Um, Oh, uh, that was fire. Um, production was crazy. Um, I think I feel like you know he had the whole theme park. Um, I don't know if this is like obvious to people already, but I feel like you can make an ar- argument that there's a there's a theme park aspect in every every single song. Because first I just thought like, uh, it may not be a theme park thing yeah. in this one, like you know, in Wake Up or something like that. And I'm like, you listen close, it's like it's it's a small element. It's just hot. I see why the album took so long because it's like you know I noticed that that day. took time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was listening to Wake Up and there was something. I can't yes, remember bro. what it is. I think it's towards the end. It's like a flute or something. Yeah, in the back. I'm like, I was like, wow, it's like a it, carousel ish kind of thing. Even in Coffee Bean, it, it like it's in there. I, I got, I got, I can't point it out right now. Yeah. But it, boy, two L's. Let's just we gonna keep moving, man. Whatever. We're here now. <laughs> Wasting too much time. I gotta skip my number two. All right, my favorite song on there is. A tie between Houston Fornication and No Life to Endless, because that song gives me some time. But the way he was flowing and just. All yeah, that's right. He just was like. Fire. Yeah, the ride beat and every song. Yeah. Really. But anyway. Alright, number one. One, two, three. Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I know you like. Don't no, say, so don't say the Cardi. That all be fine. But I know, you know what? I was about to say, you know what? <laughs> Cut. All right, that was that was just a joke. Um, but for real this time, no, our both both our number one albums, Smino, no, no. Are. Um If you don't know Smino, which a lot of y'all probably don't, I know y'all probably like, who is that? Smino so is an artist from St. Louis, most creative person I think I've ever heard yeah. ever. Um, genius. I mean, genius. For me, it's just like <clears throat> you almost have to compare him to like I mean, like historical people like Shakespeare. I mean, like this man, like for real. I mean, this man is literally like creating his own it's language. Crazy. And just how much control he has over the English language. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's a wordplay. <laughs> Does it make it's, sense? It like, really doesn't. He, I mean, the way he, he'll like just stretch words and. You know, flex sounds or whatever. And give new meanings to words, yeah. mosquitoes, and call a, a tongue mosquitoes. Yeah. It is like, what? <laughs> it's so <laughs> fire. But, like, just just about him a little bit more. Like, he, like he's like Andre 3000, like on steroids. Like, him, I think of him, and then because he's from St. Louis, I think of Nelly. Because yeah. when Nelly came through, he brought a different sound with that singing, rapping, and let's you know, like, so that was a different sound. So he coming through from the same town with a whole different sound. Right. But nobody's, nobody sounds like this, you know? And it was, it's refreshing, like. Exactly. He sounded different from everybody. That's why I enjoyed it so much. I had, you know, it's refreshing. I mean, yeah. It was new. And I mean, even outside of everybody else, it's just like, <clears throat> how do you, beforehand, you had to listen to Black Swan. Right, right? yeah. Just, you know, going from, Black Swan, which was already fire, yeah. and, and he just showed his versatility on that to going to a whole new level. You know, right. I mean, it's no sophomore curse at all. Like, <laughs> I don't know how he gonna top this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he, I mean, like, what's next? <laughs> what is next? Like, do y'all have a favorite? Like, trust us. Trust. I put. I'm pretty sure he has. Yeah. I put a few people on Smino. Like, definitely. He has an undeniable sound. Like, I mean, do you have like, a favorite? On that album, there, I mean, there is going to be at least one song, <laughs> because, I mean, there's not going to be a song in there that, I don't know what I'm trying to say now. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be something you like on yeah. there. <laughs> but my but, favorite song is, man. Mm, it's tough, bro. There's so it, many. It's so many, but Spins? Yep. It's a, it was my mood, but Spins was just fire, like. Now that's talk about Andre three thousand. Exactly, that is just talk about outca- outcast, outcast, yeah. outcast, outcast vibes, <laughs> outcast vibe, like really like, crazy. Yeah. But it's between it's that and Paisano because that creativity Bruh, on it's that flow song, there too. it kind of just gives <laughs> it gives him as an artist it all everything he brings to the table all in one song. Yeah. That and Covert, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what was your favorite? Uh, for me, it's like either Spins or, um, I like Z4L. Z4L, that's why I'm going to be turned. They ever played that song in the club? That? Bro, bro, bro. 
clink? <laughs> clink, bro, clink. <laughs> I wish I'll... we could have recorded it, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're going out there. All right, boy. We were so lit, like bro. that. That song gets you ready, like, bro. I'm about to turn up. Yeah. But and it's not even like a like a trap song or anything yeah. like that. I mean, it's just such good music, such feel good music. Look production on this. I'm yeah. sorry, I know we. I was sorry. trying to stop, but the production yeah. like is different. You have not heard anything like it. Monty Booker, I think. It's yeah, his, his production is just the way he make things match. Oh, it's yeah. oh. anyway. just random sounds he finds. <laughs> <laughs> we just, it's just, it's amazing. Go listen to it. But uh, yeah, that was top five um, of the year, man. Um, like it, comment, share it, disagree, or you know, you want to give us your top five in the comments, man. Just, just do. It. I would be, I would love to hear it. Um, uh, I got a couple things to, before we go. Um, next year, we are going to come up with a podcast as well. So it'll be this, but it'll also be a podcast version. For those of you who don't like watching videos or you want us to do it in the car or something, you have another option. Uh, oh, I forgot to say something. Mm. I'm sorry. Just on music, like everybody put out, just think. Uh, if you put out art this year, whatever artist you are, thank you. Cause yes. You put your art into a world that's very not easy thing to do, and you made it great. Made the world a great place. I appreciate you for it. Every artist who drops something like music is beautiful, so yeah. I'll try to say that. But one shout out, I got two shout outs. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. But um, <laughs> Naisha, Miss Naisha Powell, which yeah. is uh, Aaron Powell. Mr. Aaron Powell, is our, another one of our brother's wife. Um, she makes hats, right? But they hats, right? And so they uh, got a hole in the top. So, so if you got a fro, you're free to fro. You know. You know, it'll be, you, you can look all good, have your fro showing, you got locks in there. Um, you don't have to worry about your hair getting all Right, bro, and they, they dope, they dope. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm trying to see where you can reach her at. Oh, her slogan is free your puff, free your locks, and free your mind. <laughs> dope. But you can follow her at free for the culture, and you DM her if you want to purchase. Uh, another shout out. Ah, oh, I forgot the book. This can is great. I'm sorry, but um, I'm gonna have a picture of it. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. It's pitch, pitch. Anyway, oh, there's sorry. a picture right there. There's a picture right there. <laughs> uh, uh, Illusion of Fear. Um, great, great book by our friend uh, Miss Candice. Um, this is this is a good book. It's, it's just talking about you know. Her, getting over your fear, and, yeah, you know, and overcoming fear. Just, fear. She shares some of the, her life stories, and, yeah. you know, makes biblical connections to it. And I feel like I gave her a shout out before, but I don't think she had this book out yet. All right, last shout out. Shout out to me. I dropped the project of the year. <laughs> this man. <The> number one. <laughs> I dropped the instrumental project called Oh Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, I forgot. Johnny Sample. All samples. Uh, is. Uh, Anyway, this is a sample project. I was gonna say so. It's a sample project. It's dope. Um, it's like it's eight songs out of ten. I don't feel like explaining it, but it's on SoundCloud. It's dope. Go listen to it. Go download it. Um, you got anything you want to say, sir? I think I'm done. Um, yeah. Um, just a great year for music and everything. I think, like we said earlier, you know, it's been a trying year, and mm -hmm. I think Maybe. there's a lot of people that feel that same way, and so I feel like. Um, in those times, that's when art really thrives. You get a lot of good music, mm -hmm. you know, trying times. So. Music, did you do it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm thankful for it. <laughs> Amen. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all made it through the entire video. Um, we will see y'all in the new year. Uh, here's the accomplishing your goals. Chase your goals this year, man. We chase your dreams. We doing big things all 2019. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See y'all later. Man.